Piper and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a video about gymnastics beam. In beam, a gymnast must walk on a very thin elevated mat. It's only four inches wide and they must do tricks on it. So we're going to be reviewing some beginner things that you can do on the beam and how to improve your balance on the beam. So how we like, this is a tutorial. How are we supposed to do beam, beam at home? Well, if you have a wood floor, there's like one piece of wood that you can stay on the line on. And then if you have duct tape, it probably isn't the best idea, but if you have duct tape, you can like put it somewhere like maybe outside, like on the grass or something, and then that's your beam. Right here, I have a really bouncy air track. So I can, it has like a big strand already through it. So if you have an air track, then that's great. And also the good thing about an air track is in the middle, it also has um, like separation there too, so you know where the middle is. So like you can mark your spot. So the first skill that I'm gonna be going over is a cartwheel. If you have a cartwheel on the floor, then that's great. But on the beam, it's more difficult because you have to stay in a very straight line. So something, so drills for cartwheels are a simple, or a simple lever. Put your your um, foot in front of you, and as for dancers, without the hands is called a planche. I'm not the best at them, but with the hands, I call it a lever. Not sure if that's the real name, but I think it is. And that's a drill for the cartwheel to practice going up, and then. Another drill to practice going into a sideways handstand be because um, you go sideways in a cartwheel. In a cartwheel, you want to keep the back leg moving, moving at all times so that way you can get yourself over. It's the same in an aerial. If, you, if the back leg stops moving, then you're just going to bail out. So this is what the full sharp cartwheel should look like. Something important when doing a cartwheel is you want to look at your hands the whole time. And especially on a beam, because if you're not looking at your hands, you could easily miss the beam. Usually, if somebody falls off the beam during a cartwheel, it's usually at the end of the cartwheel. When they do the cartwheel, they miss their feet and fall off the beam. It's either that or they, go to, they land on the beam and they lose their balance and fall off. So it's really important for you to go, for you to look at your hands the whole time so you can also see where your feet are going. And then another skill you can do on beam is a handstand. On the floor, your hands are apart and by your ears and they go up like this. But in a beam, that's a different scenario. What you do is your hands are not like this on the floor. They're like this, one is in front of the other. So it's harder to balance the handstand. You want to practice first doing it off the beam. So that way you can get used to the hands and how they are. But when on the beam, you always want to do it on a low beam first. For mats around it, so it can feel just like the floor. Before moving on to the high beam. So doing it on the line is a perfect practice for gymnastics at home. And then the next thing that we are going to be working on is a simple arabesque. So you put your feet kind of one in front of the other so you're on the line and then you put your hands like this, the gymnastic salute, then you step forward like this and then you and go back. Sometimes it's hard not to take an extra step or to stumble, but in this case, it's really important not to stumble because that means you could fall off the beam. In an arabesque, the goal is to get the back leg as high back as it can. So this is what the full skill should look like. 
Oh, okay, good. So you do a six salute, go forward, and just kick up. For the arms, you're not going to leave them like this. You're just going to go like this, kind of like in an L shape. Come on. Like that. And then you go back down and then you circle it around. The next skill we're going to be looking at is a leap. What's the difference between a leap and a jump? On a leap, you go off one leg and then you land on one leg. In a jump, you jump off two legs and land on two legs, like this. They're very different. So, we're going to be practicing leaps and jumps on the beam. So on a leap, you're gonna go off one foot and land on one foot. And then, second, for a jump, you're going to go off two feet, one slightly in front of the other, and, and land on two feet. So, next we're going to be working on a dismount. You go into a sideways handstand, you hold it for as long as you can, and then come down. Really, on the high beam, you would snap down. You're not going to rebound, you're just going to snap. Then the judges and doing it. But on here, we're not unable to snap down because it's so close to the ground. So you're just gonna come out of it. So the next skill we're going to simply be working on is a split on the beam. The beam is also a very important skill to it's a very important tool to see how straight your split is. Because if the split's like, and it's all wonky wonky everywhere, then that's not a split. But if it's straight, your, your both your legs are in a straight line, then that's a split. So it's a very, very important tool. And also, when the split on the beam, you have to be able to balance yourself. You can't use your arms to keep you up on the beam. That's also very important. And that's all the skills that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you learn what gymna some beam gymnastics skills and how to do gymnastics at home.